So starting with some breaking news this hour, an Israel's Iron Dome defense system has intercepted 10 rockets which have been fired from southern Lebanon. So sirens sounded in northern Israel and in the occupied Golan Heights after these rockets were fired. Hezbollah has claimed responsibility. On Wednesday, Israel conducted airstrikes against targets in Lebanon in response to rocket fire. Zenechot is on her way to the border area now on the phone for us. What more have you learned so far, Zena? Well, Kamal, like you mentioned, Hezbollah claiming responsibility, saying their troops are responsible for uh, launching these rockets. Now, in their statement, they mentioned that they targeted an open area around Israeli military outposts, which is really very telling because what they are trying to say, and this is what we understand from sources close to Hezbollah, is that this is a message to the Israelis. It is, first of all, in response to Israeli airstrikes early on Thursday. Israeli airstrikes targeted some areas in southern Lebanon in response to rocket fire from southern Lebanon that targeted Israel on Wednesday. So the message Hezbollah is giving the Israelis right now is that the war, this is a warning. The ball is now in your court. Uh, the rules of engagement have to change. If you decide to carry out airstrikes, which have not happened since the 2006 a war between Hezbollah and Israel. In the past, when there has been cross-border fire, Israel responds with artillery shelling and not airstrikes. So Hezbollah is saying that the rules of engagement have now changed, and now the ball is in your court. Either there will be calm after this uh, incident mm. or an escalation. So the situation is precarious. Definitely a marked escalation along the border. These are two longtime enemies who are now sending messages to each other. But many in Lebanon will also tell you that this escalation is undoubtedly linked to what is going on um, in the region. The regional escalation, if you like, as well, because Lebanon is entangled, Hezbollah, of course, being an ally of, of Iran. But for the time being, it seems that Hezbollah is keen on not opening a front and Hezbollah telling the Israelis this is in response to Israeli um, airstrikes mm. and the ball is now in your court. Zaina, just tell me about the areas where this is happening on the border. Is it, uh, I mean, are there population centers? There are a lot of the pictures we're looking at right now seem to be sort of a lot of uh, empty land, but you can tell us more about the geography. Yes, empty land. Both of them have been very careful, both the Israelis and Hezbollah, to avoid any casualties. First of all, Shiba, uh, the Shiba farms, um, these, this, this area is considered by Lebanon as occupied uh, territory. Um, the Israelis see this as part of the Golan Heights. The United Nations has still not determined because Syria has not given uh, maps to prove that this is Lebanon, Lebanese territory. But the bottom line is for Hezbollah to choose to target Shiba Farms, an area that Lebanon considers occupied territory, it too is trying not to escalate uh, the situation. It didn't decide to target, for example, um, I Israeli population centers uh, along the border. And even the Israeli airstrike early on Thursday um, did not target um, Hezbollah positions. They said near Hezbollah positions. So both sides really treading carefully because um, any any wrong move here uh, could lead to all-out war. And we've, we've said this time and time again over the past few months when uh, there has been cross-border fire. Each side is not in a position now to deal with an all-out war, especially Lebanon, for example. A very uh, precarious situation. The economy has all but collapsed. If, if Hezbollah does, does ignite a war, it already has very few friends in this country, if you like, blaming it for, for, for c controlling the decision on whether to launch war or, or peace in, in Lebanon. Mm. So right now, the indication is that both sides they're treading carefully, trying to avoid uh, uh, an all-out escalation. But, of course, the situation is precarious and it is a volatile border. Thank you. More with Zaina Khoda later as she gets closer to that border area. The pictures we've been looking at uh, of the uh, Iron Dome, Israel's Iron Dome defense system, intercepting 10 rockets that have been fired by Hezbollah. Hezbollah has taken responsibility for that from southern Lebanon. As Zaina says, a warning shot, if you like,
but also a possible sign of uh, escalation after what we've been seeing earlier in the week.